Shut up and sit down. Hello people, this is Andy from Big Mac's uh, Workshop and Painting Studio and today I'm doing a bit of flash for you guys. So uh, I'm putting a base coat of uh, Tusco Fur on Catalyst from the Alchemist Guild Ball team, uh, Veteran Catalyst it is. And uh, what I'm doing, I'm uh, essentially I'm glazing the entire thing. So uh, I'm starting off with a couple of very thin layers just to get the, um, uh, get the colour down. But obviously I don't want to thicken up the detail too much. And uh, we do apologise <clears throat> for this late um, for this late video. Uh, we've had a lot on this uh, last few weeks uh, with commissions and uh, other things. So uh, uh, this week's video is a few days late. So for that I apologise wholeheartedly. As you can see, I'm just building that layer up. Um, I've only just got the one layer on. And I'm doing a second coat on the uh, entire thing. Just getting that... Um, nice flat uh, baseline uh, working on the uh, entirety of the flesh. Now, the actual paint list on this is only a few paints because it's all done by glazers. I do use a wash um, shortly after this step, but if I was going to do it again, I wouldn't bother uh, as it didn't really make a whole lot of difference uh, due to the way I painted the flesh on this. So, uh, for the wash, it is a very watered down uh, mixture of Reekland and Agrax Earthshade with loads of Lamy Medium. And uh, I'll just get it uh, focused towards all the de um, deeper recesses as you would expect with any kind of wash. And I um, build up my colour uh, uh, transition, uh, several layers, um, which is why it's so thinned down, so you can kind of really control the um, positioning of the uh, of the wash itself. Uh, I'll straight on the top of that once I've done a couple of layers uh, with thin down uh, mixture and then do a um, wash straight out of the pot of uh, Reekland um, just to add an extra rich tone to the um, Tusco fur which with a Tusco fur base isn't totally necessary and as I said earlier I wouldn't bother um, to do it again. Now as you can imagine that takes a while to dry so once I've um, uh, it's had plenty of uh, drying time, I'm now mixing Cadian Flesh Tone with the Tusco Fur. This is incredibly thin. Uh, it's basically um, sort of wash level consistency. And I'm just aiming at all the uh, raised areas, just bringing that colour up very, very slowly. It takes about five or six layers to do this. Um, but the effect in the long term is so much nicer than actually painting uh, the the layer on uh, normally. So as you can see I'm uh, there was a section there where, where the paint was a bit too thick and I'm just um, I just thinned it down with a bit more water and uh, I'm just bringing them highlights up. Now I'm, um, I am actually working towards the lower areas that's obviously uh, weird being a glazing technique you want to really really um, spread that uh, colour up um, to, to into the uh, recess as well. Uh, once I've built up that uh, first layer of the 5050 uh, Cadian, uh, it takes a couple of layers, as I said. You've got to work. Um, it, it does take. It is a very time-consuming process using glazers, uh, but I thought this mi uh, model would be a perfect choice. There's so much uh, muscle definition on the uh, figure. Uh, plenty of. Um, work surface for you to see and uh, what, watch what I'm doing. So finally uh, we're getting somewhere now you can you can start to see uh, the muscle definition uh, you start to see where, where the uh, core transitions are and uh, I'm still still working on the um, Cadian flesh tone. Now, I'm starting to use a um, pretty much Cadian Flesh Tone at this level. Now, again, uh, as before, the Flesh Tone is very, very, very thin. Uh, and uh, it's a very time consuming process, I'm not going to lie. Um, but 
the end result is very nice. Now here's the uh, wet palette itself and that is the colour what I'm currently using which is a mixture of which is um, about 70% Cadian Flesh Tone mixed with 30% Kiss Life Flesh. Again as you can see the uh, consistency uh, is basically water. Uh, that's why I showed you that so you get an idea of what we're looking at for uh, the um, paint consistency when you're uh, doing a glaze. Now that is a uh, custom built, I say custom built wet, wet palette, it's basically just a sponge with some grease proof paper in a Tupperware tub um, which you can get from any uh, outsource shop. Uh, throw some water in there and you're good to go. After a couple layers of the uh, mix, I start using the Kissler Flesh um, again as a straight highlight. Um, every time I'm doing these layers, I am making the uh, lines uh, a tiny bit thinner or um, more focused towards the high points, etc. Now, uh, this is only a flesh video, um, so. You're not going to see any of the other uh, color trans uh, colors on the uh, other areas. This model is actually um, getting painted for a tournament what I'm uh, taking part in at the end of the month. So it's actually just getting it uh, to, to a, a level of something like uh, the, the flesh is pretty much done uh, at the end by the end of the video, but the uh, but the rest of the figure isn't. Now I'm starting to put a touch of um, GW's flayed one flesh into the mixture now. Now this is quite a yellowy tone but it really takes away the cartooniness of the um, colours and I'm bringing them towards the uh, what what we call the hot spots, um, the tops of the muscles, uh, more, more on that um, left shoulder, uh, top of his head etc. And as you can see it looks quite yellowy but it's a very natural colour when it's um, placed on top of the the other bases so it really does uh, add a sort of a natural uh, sort of flesh tone to uh, the figure now this is still mixed in with the kiss love flesh um, again I'm still not using pure um, a pure uh, flayed one flesh uh, colour on this figure yet and uh, I'm just building that uh, highlight up ever so slowly, ever so gently. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit of um, Agrax and uh, red around the areas where his um, sort of jackpots are. Uh, and that's the start of getting the uh, the area look like it's sort of bruised, as it's not because it's the sort of area where it wouldn't heal properly, as he's got those um, uh, sockets uh, drilled into him. It's a uh, very weird looking at, uh, sort of thing, very sort of Matrix esque in that sort of thing. So I'm uh, throw some Agrax, a bit of blue, just um, the natural sort of. Um, the natural colours what a bruise would go, so blues and greens, a bit of red so it looks really sore. Yeah, don't put uh, too much red in there. Uh, the, as Dodge says, it's the, the red is just there to make the uh, colour look um, natural um, and really add, add a depth, but only be very sparing with the reds. Uh, it's more towards the greens and the blues you want to be focusing on. But if you if you actually look at um, your own skin, you'll notice there's loads of different colours under the surface. So just look at um, your own skin as reference uh, when you are uh, painting that sort of thing, and that's uh, the sort of colours you want it to be using. More so uh, if you, if if you notice, I'm pointing the um, the the washers 
into very tiny areas and then pulling them away from them areas. Uh, being very, very uh, careful not to spread, especially the red, too far. I'm working purely with Flavor on Flesh at this point on the highlights of the um, most extreme areas. Again, this is glazing, so it's incredibly thin layers. Uh, each highlight uh, section probably takes four or five layers to get um, built up to a uh, colour where I'm totally uh, where I'm starting to get happy with it because it doesn't um, show very uh, uh, very much on a, any single layer. Now what I do do at the end is to make it look a little bit a little bit uh, less con uh, cartoony is I mix a bit of Tusco fur uh, with Cadian uh, Flesh Tone and go into the recessed areas. Uh, this is just uh, to take away some of the uh, redness from the um, wash and the base layer. Uh, and it really does sort of um, put in that lesser shade into the area, the really thin down lesser shade. Uh, brings that um, entire fig together with the uh, nice highlights. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed what you're watching. And if you want to see uh, more of what we do, uh, please hit like, please subscribe and um, share with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye bye.